I was an atheist for 20 years. I was associated with a large number of very visible, well-known atheists. I worked as a leader in the atheist movement for a period of time. And yet I know now I never really understood what God was. I never understood what people were talking about when they talked about God. I'm not sure that most atheists understand what the concept of God is. I'm not really very sure that they really understand the, the, the whole development of what it means to believe in God. I think this is also true of, the, of agnostics. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm very sure that, that most people who believe in God really don't understand what God is. I mean, you just think about that for a minute. What do you understand God to be? When you think about God or when you hear the word God, what do you visualize? Or do you visualize anything? When you pray to God, if you do pray, what are you praying to? Is it something that looks a little bit like this? You know, the last course that I had in my graduate work was a course in physical anthropology taught by a pretty well-known atheist on campus. And the man began the class by saying, now we all know what God is. God is an old man in the sky with a long white beard and big white flowing robes. And that was honestly and sincerely the man's concept of God. Is that your concept of God? Have you created God in your image instead of the other way around? You know, that, that's easy to do. And, I, and quite frankly, I think we all do it to some extent. We all want a God that looks like us. We want a God that likes what we like, that doesn't like what we don't like, that has the same prejudices and the same problems and the same hang-ups that we have. And we have a tendency to create God in our own image. And we ask questions that demonstrate that we don't have the foggiest idea what God is. I hear these questions every weekend on university and college campuses all across this country. Questions like, what color of skin does God have? What sex is God? Who created God? Where did God come from? How can God hear my prayer? And the prayer of the little boy in China at the same time. Why does God allow, and you fill in the blank, the latest tragedy, the latest major disease, personal problems in our own lives? See, all of these questions are rooted in a fundamental inability to understand what God is.